Hi, I'm Kitty Cole, a business coach and trainer for the real estate and mortgage industries. I'm going to demonstrate how to emotionally connect on a higher level with your clients and other agents. This very small, very small tweak of your presentation skills may double or triple your income. That's been my experience with other coaching clients. So one is have consistent eye contact. Let's say that I'm talking to you about commission and I'm feeling uncomfortable and I just look away a lot. Instead, I'd like you to think about having at least 70 to 80% of the time looking at the client when you have difficult conversations. It's a clue to the client that we're uneasy, we're new, we're inexperienced. So have eye contact with, with those difficult conversations. Number two, smile. So I'm not talking about the big, huge smile that looks insincere, but I'm talking about a subtle, comfortable smile, like what I'm doing right now, that demonstrates confidence, poise, credibility. The client feels trust in you immediately. Number three, never respond with anger, frustration, annoyance ever with buyers, sellers, and even agents, because all you do is you hurt your own reputation, and once soiled, it takes years to repair it. I think we all know this. Number four, this is a fun one, but pay attention to your verbal and nonverbal components of your communication. Examples are, if you speak really rapidly and you, and you don't normally talk like that, then they think you're, something's wrong because you're just talking so fast. What are you doing? Number two would be raising your volume. If I start speaking more quickly and louder together, what am I saying? I'm uneasy with something or maybe I'm engaged with you emotionally. Maybe I'm angry. Another one is never roll your eyes at anybody, by the way. I read a study about this and it actually is completely invalidating the other person and people who do tend to get divorced. Funny little statistic there. Another one is looking at your watch. If you look at your watch in an appointment, what you're doing is saying, I've got an appointment or you're boring or I've got to go. Anyway, all of these can hurt you at the building of a very successful relationship. So just notice what you're doing non-verbally and verbally. And the fifth one is crutch words. Crutch words are those filler words that we say while we're thinking. So examples are, ah, uh, um, you know, overuse of any word like absolutely, generally, in terms of, are crutch words. You want to avoid those. You can't do it perfectly. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is to pay attention if you fill them in with every sentence. Sixth, this is fun, but it's really true. If you have obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, don't let it show. I have a client that literally puts everything a half an inch apart on a table and she starts doing it. She's kind of unconscious. So she's not paying attention to the client or what she's saying. She's getting sidetracked by everything being perfectly neat in front of her. I'm sure her clients are fascinated by this behavior. I was when I noticed it, but we coached her out of it. If you want to learn more about my classes at Bay East, click on the link below. Thanks for listening.